Remember your year nine language lessons? Well, they could come in handy now as we're talking about the translating business. So, bem-vindo ao Side Hustle Show. Este é o show onde nós falamos sobre todos os side hustles. Welcome to the Side Hustle Show. This is the show where we break down the side hustles that are trending online and show you how we do it. I'm Lucas Sakari, your host, and in this episode, we are talking about the translating business. As always, before we begin, I need you guys to like this video and subscribe. Today's like target is 500 likes. Is that cool? You've done it. Let's get into the video. So what is translating? Translating is a method of communicating from one language to another, either verbally or written. The role of a translator is to ensure the meaning and context are maintained so that information can be understood by all. So how does it work? First, you need to find a language and become fluent in it. Then you need to start looking for courses and opportunities to translate. I would say start out volunteering for friends and family to get some experience. The great thing about learning a new language is that there are hundreds of online apps and courses that you could attend to improve your skills. For example, Babbel, Duolingo or Mondly, which are great for picking up new languages. Translating is very popular when working with global clients. The demand for this has increased as the internet has allowed us to collaborate and work with people all around the world. Translators work in a variety of industries ranging from government to medicine to business to education and anything in between. Any industry that uses language could use a translator. You can also apply for an agency where they find you translating jobs, which is good if you want to maintain your full-time job. Next, you will need to establish yourself as a translator simply by registering as a translator at HMRC and completing a number of language courses. Advanced degrees in your translation language could take you further. The more language experience and education you have, the better. Once this is done, you're good to go. Pros and cons of translating. So we've covered how it works. So let's go through the pros and cons. Variety of languages. There are a variety of languages that you can learn to translate. All you need to do is study and become fluent at it. Easy to set up. The translating business is easy to set up as there are a number of ways they can apply and work as one. You can also translate for people online, which is great if you're working from home. All you need to do is put in a work and look for opportunities. Building your brand. The great thing about translating is that you are building your brand along the way whilst you're working with clients. And it's very rewarding once you become established and clients recognize your work globally. High competition. Translating has been around since the beginning of time. So of course there's gonna be competition. It's important that your translating techniques are informative and your turnover time is quick so you can attract more opportunities. Exposure. Since you are new to the translating business, it may take some time for you to get clients and become established. However, it's important that you work on your craft during these times and soon it will pay off. Unpredictable working hours. There could be times where you have last minute translation requests or there's times where you're not working. It's important to use that time to plan and create a structure where you can translate information quicker to meet client needs. Let's quickly recap the pros and cons of translating. Pros, variety of languages, building a community, easy to set up. Moving on to cons unpredictable working hours, exposure, and high competition. Now, this is the part of the show where we give an example of how I would do it, so let's get into it. So I'm going to start off by researching and applying for a course of the language that I want to translate in. I'm thinking to go Portuguese and Spanish since I'm originally from Brazil and we speak Portuguese at home. I've also picked up Spanish along the way, but that needs a little bit of work. Fantastico. As always, let's say I've completed the process of becoming a licensed translator and I have all the qualifications, so I'm ready to work. Next, I will look at my network and try to find opportunities that need translators in these languages. I'm thinking to also apply for an agency so they can provide work as I'm starting out. In terms of fees, I will set my prices to the competition and potentially offer a taster session to a client if he can recommend another person to work for. Moving on to working hours. Since this is a side hustle, I'll be working as a freelance translator. So this means I have to decide when and how long I want to work. The good thing about signing for an agency is that there's always work, so you can pick what days that you want to do. Finally, marketing. I will use social media to promote my services and run ads to build my brand, but the main method will be through the agency since they are established and have clients ready for me to work. Another option could be word of mouth and flyers where I post them in community centers or libraries so people can see. And that's our show. Let us know in the comments what language you will learn to start your side hustle. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.